Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios uh, artwork for today. The, those are calla lilies on uh, acrylic on canvas. Check my website for more artworks and photographs at ilmaarts.com. That's I L M A A R T S dot com. Today I'd like to share with you my poem devotional, which is extracted from Acts 10, verses 34 to 35. It says, I see very clearly that God shows no favoritism. In every nation, he accepts those who fear him and do what is right. And here's my poem. God has no favorites. Are you struggling with prejudices? Is there anyone in your life who plays favorites? Worry not, God has no biases. He treats us all with equality and fairness. He made us unique and different from one another. There is no need to compare with each other. God loves those who do what is right and fear Him. He waits for you patiently and faithfully to give up sin. Here's my essay. Favoritism is defined as a practice of giving unfair preferential treatment to one person or group at the expense of another. We live in a society where competition rules. People become enslaved by the dictates of the culture. They long to be looked up to and shown favor or feel important. Many families have been destroyed by the preferential practice that clearly generates his um, jealousy and conflicts. The Bible says that God has no favorites. He loves us all because He created us all like Him. He doesn't care what culture or race you come from. He wants us all to long for Him and do what is right. He loves us all. That is why He gave His only Son to free us. Prayer. Will you heal me from insecurities, Lord? Reflection. Why is favoritism dangerous to people? Uh, as, as part of uh, my testimony, I'd just like to answer that question on the reflection why favoritism is dangerous to us. I think that when you give preference to someone and another person is actually experiencing the repercussion of that preference for that someone and, and feel feel unfairly treated, then you are actually generating, um, you know, uh, sin. Sin in the form of jealousy. That person can start feel, to feel jealous or uh, to feel insecure. Or later on, because of their jealousy, they want to prove to you that they are better than this other person. So you're actually igniting um, uh, to to for that person to you know to prove to you that um, he or she is worth something than how you treat them. Um, rebellion could also be a product of um, unfairness, unfair treatment, or favorites, or um, lack of self worth could also be a product of that. So there are so many things that could be an aftermath of uh, playing favorites. But the Bible tells us that God has no favorites because He loved us all. He loved us all the same. Um, he made us all uh, in His likeness, in His image. So we all have the capacity to maximize all our potentials because God gave that to us. Now, we should live our lives like trying to compare ourselves to another person because we're all created equally and differently. Um, if somebody is treating you differently from how you're supposed to be treated, then um, you, if you go back to, your, uh, to the truth that your identity is not from anybody else's judgment or preference but if it, if you believe that you are identity that you are a child of God then nobody can even make you feel 
insecure or make you feel unimportant or make you feel unfairly treated. Although it is it is glaring in our society that there is really uh, prejudices, biases, injustice or oppression. So I grew up um, without these things. I don't know, maybe the Holy Spirit has really um, uh, given me the gift to treat everybody else equal and I remember um, when I was being raised I was the eldest and I had a brother two years younger than me and when I was growing up my father played favorites I was his favorite and I did not like the idea that he would give me you know who when he comes home he would bring me treats that are so very different from what oh, he would give my brother or sometimes he would forget to give my brother so what I would do to to so that my brother won't feel left out I would pretend that there was something for my brother as well so whatever I got I divided it in two and make him feel that you know my my dad loves him like how 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 he loves me too but in the end I couldn't cover up for my father's favorites playing favorites uh, because um, that uh, that really impacted my brother so much because he knows now I think even up to now he still feels that he does not have that self-worth and so um, I think it's really dangerous for people to play favorites and I think we should be very aware how we treat others if we treat others this way we should treat everybody else like that because if we give preference to someone just because they're more important, just because they're rich, just because they have more power and you know all these things and they have more influence in your life, then that is not right. So thanks for watching and I hope that you check my website at ilmaarts.com. That's I-L-M-A-A-R-T-S dot com. And have a blessed day. And I hope that you will remember that each one and every one of us is God's favorite, and we are all loved so much by God. Thanks for watching. God bless.